All right, guys. So basically, it's bath time for my hedgehog here. Um, I originally named him Flex, but we pretty much just call him the Hedge. Uh, I woke up this morning and I noticed that his cage was extra stinky. Um, so it's definitely time to get him washed off. He's probably been wallowing in his own piss. <laughs> He's a, unfortunately for him, he hates getting a bath. Um, but it's just one of those things that has to be done. So, before we get started, we'll get the water running. You don't want it to be too hot. You don't want it to be too cold. You don't want the water to be uh, too hard coming down at him. So, hold on. Don't walk off the edge there, little buddy. Stay over here. That's all right. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. We'll go ahead and set him in here. Now, he's going to poop. He's going to poop in the sink. It's just something you're going to have to face. Um, it's going to get washed down the drain, so it's fine. But you're just going to have to accept the fact that he's going to poop. Let me get you a better angle here. He's just a little scared, so it's what they do. They poop when they're nervous. Um, what I wash him with is this uh, Aveeno Baby. Aveeno Baby uh, congealed oatmeal, collodial oatmeal bath, or whatever it's called. Um, this is what I read was good for their skin. It uh, it doesn't, it keeps it from drying out. It keeps it moist. Uh, moisturized for 24 hours. It's not really cold outside anymore, so my hedgehog doesn't really have any issues with dry skin right now. But So basically to get him accustomed to the water, I'll take a cup. You see he's trying to escape, but he can't get out. It's a sink. Just get him wet. He'll freak out at first, but just get him used to the water. It's alright, buddy. You see his tail's going up, so he's probably going to poop soon. So you're probably going to witness a little guy shit. Yep, he's starting to poop. Make sure it's not too hot. I mean, and again, for the most part, hedgehogs really aren't a smelly pet. Uh, I probably clean his cage every 10 days. Uh, the thing about it is they just, their pee starts to stink after a while. The animal itself doesn't really stink. Um, but after a while of being in that cage that they've peed in, they start to smell like pee a little bit from being in the cage. The animal itself doesn't really have an odor. Um, with the pee. So he's starting to poop in there a little bit. It'll just go down the drain. It's fine. Alright, so he's rinsed off a little bit. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll pick him up. He's pooping again. You guys gotta understand right now it's uh it's in the afternoon and as you guys know hedgehogs are nocturnal so he, he's not too fond of the fact that I woke him up to get him wet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of toilet paper here and get this uh, turd out of the sink. Little, little dude's got it stucked up a little bit. Alright, let's throw that over here. Alright, so I think he's done pooping for now. So I'm gonna wash his little little buddy, little booty off here. Try not to get anything in their eyes. Um, so just kind of keep it on their back. So I'm, what I'm gonna do here is rub in his oatmeal bath. You don't want to put a whole lot, um, but you want enough that it's gonna get through the actual spikes. Um, because the, the spikes obviously are separating your hands from his actual skin. So you want to get enough on there that there's enough getting through the spikes onto his actual skin. So. It's alright, buddy. You want to get it underneath him, too. And that's where his soft uh, fur is, and that's probably 
the area that's going to start stinking the most is where his little little wiener is. And again, I'll only bathe him uh, maybe once every two weeks, and I'll clean his cage, you know, every ten days, every week sometimes if he's if it's getting real bad. So he's calmed down a little bit. You can see he's not trying to escape, and he's not pooping, so he's behaving now. Once you start petting them, they'll, they'll calm down a little bit. And I think he kind of likes the, uh, the oatmeal thing. Right. So once I've got it nice and rubbed in, I'll actually pick him up and rinse him off by hand. All right, that water's getting a little hot, so I'll put a little more cold water on there. You really want to make sure you get it all off of them. It's all right, buddy. He's probably going to poop again. He's putting his little tail up. I know it looks painful for him, and I hate to see him hating this, but I mean, the reality is it's just something that needs to get done, and he's going to have to deal with it for a few minutes. In a few minutes here, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and give you guys a close-up of him. So what I'm going to do next is, once he's done pooping and stuff, I'm going to fill up the, uh, the sink and let him kind of swim around in it to get the, uh, just to get it all off the underside of him and make sure there's no more soap left on him. And if you don't use the Aveeno baby soap, um, whatever soap you get, make sure it's not scented or anything. Um, scented stuff can, can irritate their eyes and nose for sure. All right. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod here so you can see him a little better. Maybe I'll let you watch him do that a little bit without my arms in the way. It's okay, buddy. It's all right. All right, I'll take the camera off here. All right, so the camera's off the tripod, water's nice and cool, looks like he's done pooping. So we're going to let it fill up a little bit, not too much, uh, just about leg, uh, knee level for him. You don't want him to drown, you don't want him to get it in his eyes and nose, but just enough that he can swim around a little bit, maybe, maybe float a little bit if he wants to. I've seen people turn their hedgehogs uh, on their back, and the hedgehogs will float in the water on their back like, a, like they're on a little inner tube. Uh, but my hedgehog, I don't think he would like that one bit. He hates the water. He's going to freak out a little bit, but it's okay. I'm right here watching him. I'm not going to let anything happen to him. He's not going to drown. He'll stumble a little bit. So he's just going to swim around. Alright, it's getting a little bit full there. So that's enough. Looks like he's going to poop or pee again, so I'm probably going to have to drain the water soon. But just let him get his feet clean. Uh, he'll just walk around in the water. That'll clean his feet off. Make sure he doesn't have any you know, crap on his feet or anything like that. Uh, so he's just going to walk around a little bit. He's not really freaking out now. He's just kind of getting a feel for the water. Aren't you, buddy? Uh, he's pissed. He does not like this at all. Get some. So we'll just let this go on maybe another minute or so. Just let him 
Let me get this little pause wet. It's all right, buddy. And this guy, uh, he's less than a year old. When I got him in November, um, he wasn't even two months old. So uh, November, December, January, February, March, April. Uh, it's almost May. So he's probably between seven and nine months old right now. Um, they weren't really too specific with how old he was. I just said he's not, he's not two months yet. Um, and I got him early November, so he's about seven to nine months old. He's still a young little guy. He's still got a whole lot of years of life left in him, don't you? Don't you, buddy? All right, I think he's had enough, so let's get him out and dry him off here. All right, so I've drained the sink here. I've got a special blue towel. It's just for him. Nice little soft baby towel. And I'll dry him off myself here, make sure he's all right. Um, make sure he's not too wet, because he's a good little boy. Yes, sir. And I'm going to clean his cage now and make you guys a tutorial for that. Thanks for watching. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> he's pissed.